Welcome back to the fifth lesson of our at the store series. In the last lesson, our customer made the final payment on his computer and took it home. In this lesson, he'll be returning the item. For what reason? We'll see. Let's have a look at some of today's vocabulary. Return. To take a product back to the store because you are not happy with it for some reason. People often return products to a store if it does not work properly or if it's clothing, it might not fit right. You can sometimes return items to the store if they haven't been used. New release, a new product or type of entertainment. People tend to get very excited when new releases come out, either at the cinema or in stores. There is always a long queue at the cinema when there is a new release. Purchase, a payment made either online or at a store. Cash, bank card, even different applications are just a few different ways to purchase items these days. Browse, to look through. Browsing means to simply look through without too much thought. You might find yourself browsing the internet or browsing through magazines while you're waiting to get your hair cut. You can browse the internet in stores or even magazines. Suggest. To give your idea on what you think should be done. Usually, when people suggest things, they think it's a good idea. The party we're going to will be outdoors. I suggest you bring a jacket. Update. Exchanging old for new. When a new product comes out, it is called an update because it's up to date. You can update your computer, fashion, phone applications, anything that might get outdated. Your old phone works fine. There's no real need to update it right now. Adamant. To be sure you're right about something. When someone is adamant, they're sure they are right. No buts about it. Even if they are wrong, but they are sure that they are right. He was adamant he was right about the so called facts he read on the internet. Exchange to swap goods or services. Maybe you have an apple tree. So, you have too many apples, but you want some oranges. You can exchange some of your apples for oranges. So, you have some oranges. In some places, you can exchange used cans and bottles for money. Refund to return money that you've spent. A refund is when you ask for your money back. The movie was so bad that we asked for a refund. Possible. Can be done. Capable. Can do. It's not possible to jump that fence. It's too high. Okay, manager. A person responsible for supervising staff 
while maintaining good customer service in a store or restaurant. You can find a manager in most places where the main business is hospitality based. So a private school, a restaurant, a bar, places of that sort. Jeffrey is a great manager. He is very organized and friendly with the customers. Now that we've had a look at some of the keywords, let's have a listen to today's dialogue. Um, I would like to return an item. What seems to be the problem? It's an exceptional computer. That's just the problem. My wife just purchased exactly the same computer online. While she was browsing, I tried to suggest to her that she didn't need to update her computer just yet, but she was adamant that she needed a new computer then and there. That's fine. I understand. Would you like to exchange the item for another? I was kind of hoping that I could get a full refund of my purchase. Would that be possible? This is a discounted item. Usually for items going at this price, we don't offer a refund. However, I'll have a word with our manager. Thank you so much. You're in luck. I told the manager your story and he completely understands. So we'd be happy to issue you the full refund of your purchase. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so what a coincidence that his wife wanted to update to exactly the same computer. All right, let's go through the dialogue one more time, looking at the vocabulary and some of the grammar. Um, I would like to return an item. Okay, here we have the word exceptional. Exceptional means good, great, better than good. Excellent. So it's an exceptional computer. What seems to be the problem? It's an exceptional computer. All right. Exactly. Exactly means the same. An example might be my friend wears a blue t shirt every day. So it looks like he wears exactly the same t shirt every day. And he doesn't change. Okay. That's just the problem. My wife just purchased exactly the same computer online. Here we have a few of the keywords all grouped together. While she was browsing, I tried to suggest to her that she didn't need to update her computer just yet. But she was adamant that she needed a new computer then and there. Then and there. Then and there means it happened right then and right there. So his wife was sure she was adamant she needed that computer then and there at that specific time. No other time. <laughs> All right. While she was browsing, I tried to suggest to her that she didn't need to update her computer just yet, but she was adamant that she needed a new computer then and there. That's fine. I understand. Would you like to exchange the item for another? I was kind of hoping that I could get a full refund of my purchase. Would that be possible? Discounted item. Discount. If something is a discounted item, it is on discount. It is sold for cheaper. A discounted item is something that you'll find in a store that is sold cheaper on sale. Going in this context. When something is being sold for a certain price, you can say that it is going for that price. 
Hence, it is going. Leaving the store, it is going. Um, so that's the price that the computers are going for. However, in other words, but I'll, I'll have a word with our manager. However, I'll have a word with our manager. To have a word with. When you need to talk to someone or someone needs to talk to you, they can say, Ah, uh, ah! Uh, they need to have a word with me, or you need to have a word with them. This is a discounted item. Usually, for items going at this price, we don't offer a refund. However, I'll have a word with our manager. So she needs to talk to her manager. She needs to have a word with her manager about the situation. Thank you so much. Okay, to be in luck means lucky. So lucky for him, the manager understands his problem. He is in luck. You're in luck. I told the manager your story, and he completely understands. So we'd be happy to issue you the full refund of your purchase. To issue, to give out. In this case, the store is giving the customer a refund. They will issue him a refund. You're in luck. I told the manager your story, and he completely understands. So we'd be happy to issue you the full refund of your purchase. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much for listening to the lesson, and I hope you learned something today. Let's have a listen to the dialogue one more time and try to repeat as they are speaking. Okay. Um, I would like to return an item. What seems to be the problem? It's an exceptional computer. That's just the problem. My wife just purchased exactly the same computer online. While she was browsing, I tried to suggest to her that she didn't need to update her computer just yet, but she was adamant that she needed a new computer then and there. That's fine. I understand. Would you like to exchange the item for another? I was kind of hoping that I could get a full refund of my purchase. Would that be possible? This is a discounted item. Usually, for items going at this price, we don't offer a refund. However, I'll have a word with our manager. Thank you so much. You're in luck. I told the manager your story, and he completely understands. So we'd be happy to issue you the full refund of your purchase. Oh, thank you so much. All right, lucky for him. They don't always do that. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to today's lesson. Remember to repeat and practice what you have learned.、Um, I hope to see you next time. All right, see you.